In offices, libraries, hospitals, and schools like we're in today are common places where you'll find Ansel Sentry dry chemical extinguishers. The types of hazards to extinguish with a Sentry dry chemical extinguisher would be like a trash can type fire. Let me show you this Ansel Sentry extinguisher. In most locations, you'll find the extinguisher on a wall hanger bracket or inside an extinguisher cabinet. The extinguisher is a stored pressure extinguisher, meaning that the dry chemical and the expellent gas is stored in the same container. A couple of the components I'd like to speak about is the bottom handle, which is the carrying handle, and the upper handle, which is the push lever. The nameplate gives you a lot of valuable information. The first symbol is the Class A symbol, meaning that the extinguisher is capable of extinguishing ordinary combustibles, materials like wood, paper, and cloth. The second symbol is a Class B symbol, meaning that the extinguisher is capable of extinguishing flammable liquids and gases. And the third symbol is a Class C, meaning that the agent inside is a non-conductor of electricity. Some of the other information you'll find on the nameplate are the instructions of how to use the extinguisher. To use the extinguisher, you want to place it in your left hand. You want to remove the ring pin, remove the hose from the hose retainer. Place in your finger along the nozzle tip to guide the dry chemical stream. You would depress the press lever and you sweep the dry chemical from side to side. Next, we'll demonstrate the use of a sentry on a live fire. We're at the Ansel Fire Technology Center. The fire we're going to demonstrate is a Class A hazard. The extinguisher we're going to use is a Sentry Store Pressure Multipurpose Dry Chemical Extinguisher. I'm going to turn it over to the professional firefighter. To use a Sentry extinguisher, remove the ring pin and place your finger along the nozzle tip. Open up the extinguisher and discharge sweeping side to side on the Class A fire. Once you knock down the intensity of the fire, Tear the pile apart and overhaul looking for hot spots. Fires out, shut your nozzle off and back away.